Good morning. From um, as a crow flies, we are exactly 118 kilometers from Airlie. Um, yesterday was an absolute. We're not going to talk about it because we've just hit reset. We've just hit format on the card, which is a very, very big thing. You know, you, you don't hit format, but um, it was just a whole mix of wind that wasn't supposed to be here, rain that wasn't supposed to be here, an anchorage that didn't exist. <laughs> it just didn't exist. So, you know, last night's sleep got pretty ordinary, but we just prayed this morning and the weatherman was gonna do the right thing, and I think he has. We've had a squall come through and it picked up again and I, it broke me. But I actually think we've seen the other side of it and we might be okay. Um, we're gonna head another 25 k's out that way, which puts us out there, you know, we're, we're pretty far. Um, but we're actually, for the first time, personally, um, in my own boat, I'm gonna be jigging the shelf, which I'm really excited about. Never done it before, it's been a thing that I you know, moved here three years ago and, and um, thought oh, that's all I want to do. One day I want to be in my own boat and jig the shelf. So sunrise on the horizon, we're just going to head straight into it. Next time you see us, we're going to be jigging a pinnacle that I've kind of found hopefully and we can hopefully find it on the sounder and it's like literally right on the edge of the shelf. This is it. You don't know what's going to happen. It could be dogs. There's definitely dogs. There's dogs where we are now. Um, but out there, there's definitely dogs. There's iron jaw. There's flame tails. There's like, it's the dream. It's the land of giants. So we're going to go give it a crack. I'm pretty excited. Stay tuned. I don't know what's going to happen today. We're going to wing it. Um, we went through quite a lot of jigs yesterday. So I think, what do we got? 20 jigs left? 10 each. 10 each. 10 each. Can we get some done in, that could be 10 drops. And then we're casting, which isn't too bad. Um, right, let's go and do it. Let's just do it. Um, just gonna show you what, like, this is a pinnacle I wanted to find and fish. Have a go at it. Two times zoom. Sorry about the uh, glare, but. Comes up from 65 meters to 50. And that is just completely lit. I'll zoom out. 20 meters of fish there. These are the kind of stuff you just drive over the top of, but that's just like, that's wild. That is wild. Good luck to us and our jigs. We're dropping down. Uh, I've got a fish up at 10 meters already. What are you? Most likely a shark. They generally come up to have a look or could be a wahoo, could be anything. Are you dropping straight down? Um, well, yeah. yeah. On the bottom. Oh, good luck, Joe. Shoulder strength be with you. Oh yeah, one time's bending. Oh, one bite. Oh my God, oh, yeah, no, come on. 
Get in his mouth. Wow, man. <laughs> Holy. Oh. <laughs> no. Woo. Did we just get snipped? <laughs> Is that a big fish? <laughs> yeah. he was out of here. Oh, that drag is hot, man. <sighs> Round two. Yeah. Thanks, man. I'm trying to control the line on the way down so the jig actually doesn't flutter because there's so many mackerel here. That was not a mackerel what I hooked, but there is so many mackerel here that you can't let it flutter on the way down. Okay. Fast jig. Come on, please. Oh. That just got eaten as it hit the bottom then. Oh no, didn't hit the bottom, it just got eaten and then stopped. Scary, cause like, you know, has he done the leader now? Okay. <laughs> what are you? Oh, pulled it, that's not bad. It's not the worst thing. I don't want that. I want something big enough that the sharks don't eat it. It's kind of nerve wracking. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. What's going on? They're freaking huge, bro. I'm gonna change reels, but this is leader. Drew, Drew, what's going on? Well, Come on, Matt's going to re-rig while stop. we'll be back stop. with Drew. <laughs> uh, oh no, oh he's coming at me. He's done me in the race, no! Did he have you? He reefed me and he'd come out. Come on, into him, into him. Oh no! <laughs> what was that? I don't know. You come at me with the head shakes like a dog and everything. Ah! Dude, that one just like this, it just went like that, and then just turned around and went up like that. Mine, like had, that. mine had to stop the head shake, the head shake, and then, nah, not into this, gotta go. I'm actually a bit oh, shaky after that one. That had steam. <laughs> 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 Proper steam, eh? Drag's tight. 
knots are good, jig strong, hook is strong as hell. Not gonna be the hook. We're on the bottom. All right. Oh. I felt that rubbing then at the last second. I don't want to look at the sounder. What's going on? Like, I couldn't hold anymore. What's this round four? What are you, round three? So what we've done is we've pulled up, it actually, we found more of a rise comes up to 40, pulled up on the actual pinnacle. The sounder just looks disgusting. Be surprised if this jig makes it to the bottom. And I've, I've like, I don't know, what do I do with, do I just grab the spool? Yeah. You got to, eh? Yeah. You have to. Something else can break. Let something give other than him and the reef. Whew. Okay. If you don't hear me breathing when I hook up, it's because I'm holding on for dear life. Oh my God. Oh, come on. What are you? Oh, go away. Is that a little dog? No. Bro, I think that's a little dog. Got the tail. That's a little dog. That is a tiny dog. That's a little dog. Fuck off, shark. All right, come on. Get, get the dog. <laughs> yeah. Yes! And that one didn't even pull string. I did the other ones. Woo! Bro! Can you imagine what we're actually hooking down there? It's only a small one, but you guys saw what those previous ones were doing to us. Now I'm taking every part of that dog. That is up there with one of the coolest things I've achieved. The dream was to come out and do the shelf one day. Taken many years to get a boat to come out and be able to do it. We we battled yesterday. We battled through weather conditions, you name it. We got a small window today and we punched it out. We're hooking some absolute giants down there. If this, I mean, this is still a, a nice fish, you know? There's nothing wrong with him, but he didn't even pull the tick of drag. <sighs> Buffalo, 120 with an 80 90. I think it's time we stepped up the notch and <laughs> give these things hell. I'm, I'm just, I'm wrapped. I'm done. I'm absolutely wrapped. That's what we get that, all that pressure going. Like, the reel seat starts to tweak and like the handle of the reels. Like, uh, everything's, everything bends. Good luck, Drew. Good luck, Matt. Uh, drop number four. I actually survived that one. Best out of four. Best out of three that was, or was it? Oh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm a bit baffled. That's okay. We have enough jigs that we might land two fish. Oh, that's epic. Why am I on the bottom? 
Yeah, I've got to. I don't know, is he getting chased down there? Go, 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 Man. It's happening. How's that got you? Good, you're coming in. Oh, he, he felt sharp. Yeah. You're kidding. Dog too. Go on, Drew. Oh. Okay, you got a good one? Yeah. You got a good one? Yeah. Ah. Ah. What's happening? Oh no. You're on him. Oh, he's the one. Might get you to film here, Drew. Just pull it straight off. This is real. No. Whoa. Stay with us, fish. Oh no. That was the jig that just kept jigging. He just found his new home. And a shark. Well this is up there with one of the coolest things I've ever done. Um, after yesterday being such a disaster having a game plan sticking to it not worried about bulk fish i just wanted to say that you know one day i found doggies and those first couple they were real i mean they're still down there we've still got 10 or so jigs each and it's still before lunch so we're going to just keep going i'm going to go home broken if i have to i'd love to get a couple more and just one slightly bigger just to i know they're here but and we will be back how are we looking? We're coming on? No, no, you got time. We're good. Just take a little five. Oh no, I've hit. I'm gonna go as fast as I can and try and get him up. Better one. I got busted up. <laughs> oh, he's in there, bro. Yeah, I know. I've got time to go. 
I'll get done. Proper, eh? There's a whole school of dogs on the street. Jury's gonna hook up. Ooh. How big? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. That thing's singing. Just put the herd on, he'll get ya. Just try everything. It's dancing, man. It's twanging. He's coming at me. Oh, now he's got it. He's on that way again. How do they do that at speed? Ah! How? All the way? Yes. Thanks, man. So we've just left the dogs alone. I think at one stage there it can just get way too savage. Too many sharks, too much going on. We um we caused a bit of a bit of mayhem and the wind's starting to pick up. It's supposed to get up to about 20 this afternoon, so we've got to be a little bit careful because of how far out we are. Uh, we're burning from A to B and once again pay very, very like strong attention to your sounder. We've just gone over a tiny lump. Uh, it's what's it? So it's maybe five meter lump. So I zoomed in, same thing, three times zoom when I'm traveling. And um, we're just having a sound over it now. It looks all right. There's just a bit of green fuzz on there, but you know, out this wide, I kind of like that compared to just too much. I think sometimes too much can create sharks. So a little bit of green fuzz is fine by me go back to the slow pitch, the fun, the calm, see how we go. Alright, my poor little 80. I like giving it a flick about, say, 20 metres forwards. Because we are drifting quite fast and we are slow pitch, you want that jig straight up and down. So little hint, about a 20, flick, 20 meter flick forwards. Sometimes you're gonna go 30 depending on the run. And same thing, I'm very, very slowly controlling the spool. So stops the jig fluttering and helps it just control pin straight down. Um, what I'm gonna do is just obviously let it free fall all the way to the bottom. As it hits the bottom, it's just going to be like two or three lifts up and then change it around. You know, you don't want to just do the same thing over again, but it's a nice controlled action. Nothing crazy. We're chasing like, it's just a tiny lump. So we're chasing these bottom fish. We're not after anything hectic like out there. And you just watch the spool. Like an 80, you'll see it hit the bottom. That's just tight line. That's it. Wind up tight. Was that a fish then?
on, hey, how is that thing loading up? That's lips. <laughs> That's found him. He's looking at me. He's getting mad. Hanging off on these things, hey. Come on. It's a tight line, that's very bitter. This is just personal preference. You come up too high, you get into valley zone. And that's Trevally. Nothing wrong with Trevally, but you just don't want old China. You can look at him in the sunlight with his colours. Epic creature can pull string. Are we going near that mark? Mm, really? There's quite a coming here. I haven't been acing these drifts. God, this is lovely. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. What the hell? <laughs> Just lifted into a brick wall, then. China. I was gonna call it for a China. You said it. Oh, dude. Oh, so close. I was nearly gonna say it. It's an absolute monster. So <laughs> no, like yours is happily fighting. China's and Red's fight all the way up. I'm not gonna say it's a China because I'm. I just kind of already said it, hey. A little bit. He ate it as one let it go, which generally means sometimes you can get lucky and it, like, you know, a good fish follows a shit fish. Shit fish drops it, good fish pounces by accident. It's white and red and... Chinese? No. No. Drew? Yeah! Yes! Oh, that's a cracking red. Good, eh? 
Can't believe it. On the sea ranges. Oh, that's losing it. Yeah, definitely on the sea ranges. Right in, eh? Oh, wow. Felt. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> Come on. You can't eat it four, t four, five. One more. Get off, get real. Ah! <laughs> 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 I want that real. The sound of line on thumb. <laughs> Bro, that's just dogging it out. Okay. Yeah. I just have a thing with these. I can't like They break me, I love and I love them for it, but it's just brutal. This poor 80 gram gypsy has gone to hell and back, and it just doesn't ever want to die. <laughs> that thing's a tank. Look at the paddler on it. Like, that's the thickness of it. Buddy. And they just like rocket ships, hey, straight down. I have a feeling like I'm gonna hit the bottom because the line's extremely tight on the spool. Oh yeah, first squeak on the sounder. Oh yep, didn't hit the bottom. That's a fish. See you later. Far out, man. He chased your jig up. They're good fish on the bottom. Oh, well, one drop and we'll get out of here. Yep. That's just silly. Snipped. Yeah, but like. Yeah, I don't get it. No, but it was like there. I reckon they're eating. Oh. Is that a spano? That's not a. Look at that. Look where it got nibbed. Like right there. Instantly. I think that was a Spanish, eh? I just saw one. Where's that rod? Man, 
Oh, hey, look, under the boat. I right hear. Right. Yeah. And that early bite, those doggies were not fighting from the boat, the type of jig, the retrieve, anything. They just wanted feed. Is that a shark? I don't think so. Is <laughs> this a doggy? Nah, Spanner, I got you, you sneaky dog. Oh, incoming, incoming. <laughs> hey, that taught you a lesson, didn't it? Tricked ya. What's going on over here, Drew? No, you're good. Yeah, this is hurting me. Oh. That's a bit large, isn't it? Yeah. Sixty five meters of water. Top water Spanish. Man, this thing's hurting me. Oh. What's following that shark? Another Spano. That's a uh, prime example of 65 meters of water. Look down, see a Spano. Holy. Well, here's a funny story because it's not me. Woo. Um, Drew dropped down a jig and hooked this animal and I was like, bro, just bust it off. It's too big, it's a shark. And it... Oh, I'm broke, eh? He's about eight broken right now. Have a go at this thing. Oh. That is massive. That is absolutely massive. Too big for the sharks. We're gonna bring this thing in, have a closer look at it, but... Wow. He looked down and goes, why is it silver? Oh man, that thing's huge. Good On your little gypsy, eh? Yeah. All right, mate. I might have to grab him by the tail and, whoa, his wrist is... Got a towel? Yeah. You got that? The other ones. You don't want any on the top water? Holy. Oh man. That's oh, what you geez. do not want. On a jig. A meter off the bottom. That's pushing 40 kilos, that thing. Holy A. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm good. Woo! Right oh, no. oh, Come, big rig. Yeah, Woo! actually kicking eh? Yeah yeah there he is. What a legend. I'm not into that man. Go on push it. No more. First five meters isn't. How you feeling? Just tell us how how's the groin that's the biggest. No that's good. Oh good. That's good. <laughs> the rest of it's a bit broke. Then he's straight down. The boy. That's filthy. Uh man. let's not do that again. Well, that was one of those days that I'm going to remember for a very long time. I think that um, if that wasn't fuel for the fire to go and chase them again and try and get onto those bigger ones, I don't know what is like. 
It was, it was a long way out there. It's an absolutely huge mission. I wouldn't feel comfortable at all doing it in a smaller boat. Um, you know, today was supposed to be zero to fives and it definitely was zero to 25s. We helped a couple of boats, jumped in the wake and kind of cruised back with us because it just, that's the crazy part. You just, you actually, nature is and will just do its own thing. So, um, just to hook them that big and feel the power again of a, of a dog and have it like in my own backyard was pretty special. So, um, Look, I don't know when the next time's gonna be that I'll get out there and do that again because it is a big mission. It costs a lot of money and a lot of fuel. Um, but give me the right conditions. <laughs> and probably another 20 jigs and we're doing it. Um, but I'm gonna go home, doggy sashimi. Might even show you a little bit. But um, I'm, I'm wrapped. That's me, stoked. Mission complete. Didn't think it could happen that quick, but um, it just shows those first couple in the first, like first five to ten drops, hey. <sighs> Absolute animals of fish. So, we're going, um, look I might, might upgrade everything to probably like P6 next time. And hang on and hope for the best. Until then, we will see you in the next clip. Thanks for watching guys.